This is WOCA, News Talk 1370. Hi, I'm Fran Darkington. When I need news, I pass the rest and tune to the source. WOCA. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Five minutes after 9 o'clock, it's really a beautiful leap day. The 29th day. Only happens once every four years, right? It is. Bern Pareso is here. She is our medical reporter. She's the president and CEO of Good For All Marketing, and she comes in here to delight us and charm us and educate us on health providers here in our community. Good morning, Bern. Good morning. How are Good you doing? Good morning. I am very well. How are you? You, ca- you came out of the winter. Now you're looking more springish. All, all February, it looked like you were bundled up, and now you don't need to bundle up anymore. Yeah, I removed a little bit. Normally, I would have a hood here. That's right, that's right. That's right. I, especially, I leave 6.30, 6.45. It was cold wow. this morning when you got out? I think it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, was head to uh, school, Dr. Ennis Jones, uh-huh. and I drop off my you know, kid mm-hmm. there. Once in a while, you know, I would go back home and just you know, review. So, mm-hmm. how is everyone? Good, good. Um... I know this is the last day of uh, the month. Yes. Is mm-hmm. the, the clock wrong? What does it say? March 1. It says March 1st on there? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm like, I can't Work be wrong because this is the last day. Okay, yeah, that <laughs> clock is just not dependable. I know, my last Monday, but the time is correct. So, right, you know, right, at least give, you know, give it <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and it's beautiful here at WOCA with yes, Larry and Robin. Yes. It feels so right. It does. And it can't yeah, be I mean, wrong it, if it feels so right. It is. That's, so, a, that's a song, isn't it? It's a good song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me uh, wish a happy my Monday greetings for today. You know, I get I, I get confused with that a little bit. If it is a happy Monday or or a Monday greetings, but whatever it is, I had a wonderful time last week visiting Marion Oaks Medical Center, and this is uh, Dr. Anthony Oko. I was able to uh, spend time with uh, providers. Tom Mohan, good morning to you there. Good morning, Tom. And Miss Giwa. She's an morning, awesome Miss Giwa. Yeah, Miss Giwa and all the staff. And, um, you know, thank you for having me and thank you for spending time with me. And also, I won't forget this, Mrs. Oko as well. Mrs. Oko, yes. Right. And um, next door is uh, Heart of Central Florida. Uh-huh. And I, I was able to engage, and um, it's always nice to discuss a few things about health, especially with the practice manager. And the practi- practice manager's name is Ms. Uh, Felicia. So thank you for having me. I really enjoyed it, and I, you know, I hope I'll. What get did you do? What What did they well, do? Well, most of the time, you know, we would find out about. You know, it was a busy office, so mm-hmm. I tried to be uh, minimum with the time that I chat right, with them. Right, right. But, you know, we 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 discuss a lot about they are busy, but it was a very nice office. Uh, you know, I I. I I, I would sit down and just observe and interact with patients most of the time oh, because okay. you know you always see how how they're doing if they live in the area but it it this are the I think two medical practices around there. So Marion Oaks Medical Center and then the heart of Central Florida and it's right in the entrance, you know, when you go into Marion, you know, Marion uh, Oaks Boulevard. Okay, so okay. Um, it is nice to have, you know, providers out there instead of driving all the way to Ocala. That's close to where Robin lives. Robin um, lives out that way. Oh, is that where you live? Yeah, I, I live about uh, three miles away from oh, the nice. entrance so of Marion do you, Oaks, Are so. you aware that we have these providers no. around there? No, I'm not aware. And like I said, away. it was very convenient, good location. All right, so good morning to you, and they must be living. Listening. They got excited when I told them that I probably would, you know, mention, mention their name? the offices, okay. which is nice, and they appreciate it. Now, another uh, very special person that I would like to mention is Ms. Uh, Mrs. Cheryl Laffey. I'm not sure if it's a miss. Is um, well, she retired from Dr. N. H. Jones 
very kind, very intelligent, uh -huh. you know, woman. Uh, we hardly, I mean, I know we have a lot of good, you know, super, super how, how great principals around here. Yes. And I'm pretty sure all of, of, all, of, all of our schools, I don't know what's happening. But uh, her last day was last it's Friday. Sleep year. Oh, really? <laughs> and it's sleep day. Sleep year, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. it is. Do we know her, oh, Robin? Right. Do we know her? Um, principal? I know that, um, I'm trying to remember, my son has been there for four years, and I she probably served. And she's retiring. Four years, yeah. And it's it's that time. Oh, congratulations! But she is, congratulations, and I know happy retire retirement. Is that yeah. how you say it? Then what do you do? What do you retire? What are you gonna do when you retire? I don't know. I love work. Love what you do. I'm yeah. obsessed yeah. with what, what I do. All right, and the kids, you know, they were telling me they were, they were crying. Can you believe that? They were crying. Even my son was oh. like oh, because, because they they are they love going her. to miss. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody yeah. will yeah. miss her. All right, now I would proceed on um, an email that was sent to me, and this is about. You know, Look at uh, that pretty picture of you on the other side of the card. That's colonoscopy. No, oh, that's you. It's that's good. pretty. It's, it's not <laughs> upside down. It's about colonoscopy well, and again. <laughs> it's right. Next Friday is actually the official day of um, colon screening or colorectal cancer awareness month, hmm. which oh, okay. we actually have all the whole month of March. And next Friday is the... President Clinton, you know, proclaimed, proclaimed okay. uh -huh. March 4. So you Did he get one on that date? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. There's got to be. There's, uh, there's got to be very yeah. meaningful. Do. Can you imagine doing that? <laughs> I'm going to put you to sleep for 45 minutes, Mr. President. <laughs> that would have been a new And we're going to stick something <laughs> with the camera on it. Well, I'm sure he had one, right? And that's the reason. He has a reason yeah, yeah, yeah. to live, and he's still here. Yeah. So anyway, you will see a lot. <laughs> lot of you know colon cancer supporters that will be wearing a blue now if you notice Are i have the blue? blue ribbon i have started mine and yeah. i have a little you know inside here this oh, is yeah. also blue because i won't be back here you know my next one is next monday is you know it will pass friday which is march the 4th i'll be right. back that's March correct. Seventh, then. That Monday is correct. The yeah. Yeah. But again, Colon Cancer Awareness Month is the whole month of March. And before I would end, uh, I had an email about pathology tests, and this is very important for me to educate those that have undergone colonoscopy and those that are still. Now, depending on your health insurance, some of these uh, patients are either doing their colonoscopy in the hospital or maybe outpatient surgery centers or endoscopy centers just like Dr. Revision already. We have the Central Florida. Always remember that two weeks after your procedure, you must come back for your follow-up. Oh, really? What happens on well, that? Because pathology tests would take two weeks. So then they just talk to you or they put exactly. something up in your... Yeah. Yeah. It's a follow-up that the doctor or the provider would go over about, okay. you know, uh, what happened during the procedure. Now, never underestimate that follow-up visit mm -hmm. because there was a scenario, I think a patient... Um, forgot to make an appointment for oh. a follow-up. Yeah, now, yeah. Oh. I know that, you know, we are, I, I wouldn't say that, but we have to be on top of our health. Right, the right, reason right. why you have done your procedure is because we wa you want to find out what's going on in your tummy. Mm -hmm. But then if you just ignore that, and it, you, it would, you know, it was six months when she finally called back the office. Yeah. And she said that. You know, she didn't know what was happening. And I said, so, I said, I don't understand that because you were instructed by the doctor. Right. So you reprimanded your her? follow-up, exactly. Right. But just for those of you, that was the only case that I have heard. So did she have good news when she went back? Well, it was positive on H. pylori. And then you have, oh. you're supposed to oh. be put... Positive means level. bad news. Um, yeah. yeah, but, yeah, it really depends. This is a younger person. But okay. normally you would, you know, you would be taking antibiotics for maybe mm. two weeks, and then you'll have a repeat, e either a stool test or whatever, you know. Yeah. But anyway, it is our responsibility to be on top of this. So don't underestimate follow-up. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you don't have the symptoms, 
you still have to go back to your provider and right. know everything because everything is documented during that visit. All right. So, well, thank you, everyone. That's and it? Yes. Today's leap day. It is. So, do, what do, do we do? Do you know what the tradition is? This is the day women are allowed to propose to men. Oh, my God. That's right. But if you're going to propose, you have to have a red petticoat on. That's right. That way the man knows, uh-oh. Uh oh, I gotta get out of here. Looking. Yeah, and if he refuses, if he refuses, if he okay. says no, 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 I'm not going to marry you, then he gets fined. Pl- okay. Plus, he has to buy the woman a pair of gloves. That's right. Because she has that to hi- so cute. hide her hand that doesn't have a ring on it. Well, I, do you know I, how many pairs of gloves you can get? You can just ask every guy. They got to pay you a fine, and then, <laughs> then you got to get a pair of gloves. But how many single men do you think out there? Probably quite a few. Really? There's got to be. So. Yeah, there's got to be. <laughs> got to be a lot. I I, I'm a little shy. <laughs> that could be the reason why I'm enjoying my singlehood. Your singlehood. Yeah, your singlehood. Yeah. I'm enjoying my singlehood, too, by the way. Are you really? Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> Me, too. Singlehood is a good thing. I know. Um <laughs> <laughs> Robin, that's a pen for. I don't think you want this. I'll give this to a uh, Tish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a blue pen. With it is a blue pen. Oh, for Robin gets a ribbon cancer. pen. Oh, that was nice. Well, thank you Very again nice. so much for having me. And uh, you all have a good week. Y'all have. You all, you all. That's have a, a Philippine good week. Southern, a Southern <laughs> Philippines thing. Thank you. Where did I get that from? Because <laughs> you live in the South. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to email me, uh, burn, B-E-R-N, at GFA Medical Marketing. Feel the burn. And I'll be back next Monday here at WOZA. Yes, you will. 96.3 FM and 1370 AM. <laughs> Thank you, guys, Thank so you, Burn. Much. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Monday will be partly sunny and quite nice with a high of 75 to 79. Monday night, mainly clear, lows ranging from the upper 40s and a few inland spots to the upper 50s on the coast. Tuesday, mostly sunny and warm, high 78 to 82. But Wednesday, morning cloud and a shower or thunderstorm in spots, then some sunshine in the afternoon, the high 77 to 81. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hi, I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the